Nowadays, it's safe to assume everyone knows about oil. It heats our homes, runs our car engines, fertilizes our crops, and is even used in the clothes we wear. But the question that has come up more recently is, does everyone know about the long-term effects of our oil usage? Before we can answer that question, let's take a look at where this all started. Records show the existence of oil wells was first found in 350 CE. These wells were drilled in China using bamboo bits to dig and bamboo pipelines to extract the oil from roughly 800 feet below the ground. It wasn't until the 7th century that engineers from Japan learned petroleum could be used as a light source. This led to a shift from whale oil to kerosene, a derivative of petroleum. The first oil well in the United States was located in Pennsylvania. Drilled by Edwin Drake, this well was the first successful attempt to access oil by Americans. Eventually, people began to realize that they could make a fortune if they found oil. This is when oil excitement started. The volatile range of emotions that the profitable Pennsylvania oil industry aroused led to an increase in the extraction of oil and the construction of infrastructure to support the uncharted oil industry. All this new excitement around oil was captured and embedded into the American culture, causing the Industrial Revolution in 1760 with an endless need for oil. Up to this point, the U.S. had been powered by steam engines, which were slow, expensive to maintain, and didn't meet the large-scale production demands. The expansion of the automobile industry caused a drastic rise in the demand for oil with the diesel and gasoline-powered engines. In 1859, it was recorded that the United States produced roughly 2,000 barrels of oil. With the high demand stemming from industrial expansion, by 1906, the number was increased to 126 million barrels. Leading into World War I, the role of petroleum worldwide became immensely more prominent. Although petroleum had always been considered a commodity, with nations on the brink of war, access and use of it became a necessary part of war strategy. It was the German attempt to cut off Britain's oil imports that nearly won the war for the Central Powers. The United States was developing a fascination with the abilities and consistent demand for oil, and companies didn't hesitate at the opportunity to invest in what seemed at the time like a non-stop growth of the oil industry. The negative effects of oil were first seen through the relationships between the governments and the people of the exporting oil countries. Big oil producing countries like Russia and Iran were accused of developing petro-dictatorships because politicians began putting aside caution and instead formed unwanted international relationship with foreign countries simply for their investment. It wasn't until the 1960s that the environmental issues associated with petroleum came to light. In 1965, scientists first explained the greenhouse effect, and in 1968, the American Petroleum Institute reinforced this by issuing a public service announcement which stated that adding man-made carbon dioxide to the environment had many deleterious consequences. According to National Geographic, the United States consumes more oil than any other country and in 2011 consumed more than 19 million barrels of oil each day. This is more than Latin America, Eurasia, and Eastern Europe combined. Petroleum can be found in a huge number of everyday items, which is why even conscious consumers find it difficult to limit reliance. Petroleum is used to make artificial limbs, water pipes, surfboards, basketballs, cameras, roofing, shoes, telephones, and diesel-powered generators that provide electricity during emergencies. It is quite hard to imagine our lives without these things. Petroleum is also risky in terms of obtainment. Sometimes, issues with drilling equipment may cause the oil to explode out of the well. It then spills into the ocean, and since fixing the well hundreds of meters below is hard, millions of barrels of oil can end up spilling before the well is finally plugged. This causes major problems in the animal population, especially birds. The oil destroys the waterproof parts of feathers, causing them to die of hypothermia due to cold waters. Marine mammals and fish can also mistake oil spills for food and be poisoned. Not only are these animals affected, but so are those higher up in the food chain due to the process of bioaccumulation. There's also been a huge increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that has helped global temperatures rise by over one degree Celsius in the last century. The oil industry contributes greatly to this because drilling releases carbon dioxide stored in fossil fuels. As the world's demand for petroleum continues steadily, however, oil is a non-renewable resource and there will not always be enough. Peak oil represents the point where the oil industry is extracting the maximum possible amount of petroleum. It is measured using a reserves to production ratio, which compares the amount of proven oil reserves to the current extraction rate. 
It is impossible to know the exact year for peak oil. Some reports say that the United States has a reserves to production ratio of nine years, while some geologists believe peak oil will be reached within 20 years. Either way, it is becoming increasingly urgent that we find a petroleum alternative. The concerns surrounding peak oil and the environmental effects of petroleum extraction are leading to the use of oil alternatives and the encouragement of citizens to change their habits to not rely as much on oil. One alternative is bioasphalts. These are asphalts made from renewable sources such as molasses, sugar, corn, or potato starch. But a downside is that they require a large crop yield, which places a strain on the agriculture industry. There are also other sources of sustainable energy, including geothermal heat pumps, wind farms, wave and solar energy, domestic biofuel for hybrid vehicles, and algae, since algae oil can be converted into a biofuel. Making the switch to sustainable alternative energy resources, however, proves to be very difficult. One of the biggest issues is the price of oil. Its cheap costs and abundance compared to alternatives makes it difficult for consumers to change their convenient habits. The lack of the equivalent alternative resource only reinforces and deepens our reliance on oil. Oil contributes to a higher quality of life, but we may irresponsibly push the detrimental realities of it to the back of our mind when we are not directly impacted by them. For example, the residents of an area where hydraulic fracturing takes place may feel differently about oil extraction and production because of their first-hand experience with the negative consequences that may occur. As we can see, petroleum plays a huge role in our everyday lives. It makes our lives easier in many ways, but at the same time has incredibly negative environmental effects with consequences not too far off in the future. In order for the world to move on in a more environmentally friendly direction, it will take a combination of efforts from individuals, industries, and organizations to take the necessary steps towards a more sustainable future.